believe me, like I, if I don't write songs all the time, I go crazy. We've only got one tour set up for this year, so if you can imagine that, you know, the rest of that, the rest of this year is going to be filled with writing a new record. So yeah, we're in the studio, right? And Chester was at my house recording yesterday. You can never put a real timeline on it because our, our uh, process is very amorphous, but, uh, but there will, you know, we're definitely already in the mix. And for those people who subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, Lincoln Park TV, um, you're, you're, it's likely you're going to start to see, start to see in the next couple months, some episodes with, you know, with some of that music going on. Each record we, we approach, we just uh, just try to approach it fresh and try to be as different as we can to challenge ourselves and um, not repeat things that we always do. Throughout the process, songs get refined and every band member touches it in a different way and then it ultimately becomes what Linkin Park is. We always try to figure out a way to challenge ourselves in the songwriting process. In the early days, we would spend a lot of time uh, making the music great and then adding the vocals last. Uh, recently, we've kind of integrated the, those two stages together at the beginning. And then also, um, just the idea of approaching instruments differently. So something that might have an organic beginning, we might try a more electronic. Try to flip, flip the way things are done as much as possible. Uh, and I think you, a lot of times the result is similar to what you would expect, but at least for us it gets our brains thinking a little differently. It's always dangerous to talk about it prematurely. We actually made this, this mistake when we did Minutes to Midnight, like, like a couple, like three records ago. We had done like a handful of songs that were really heavy. We in fact played one of them at a show in Japan and they were like, oh my God, the next Linkin Park record is gonna be so heavy. And then at the end of the day, the songs that made the cut weren't those songs at all. It ended up being the most patchwork album we've ever made. We arranged the tracks in such a way that it exaggerated how different it was from song to song. So I, I stray away from saying too much about what it's gonna sound like um, at this point. But uh, yeah, the most of the, I'd say the majority of the work so far, it's always me and then um, and Chester, really at this point, like like getting most of the demos started. So I'm, I'm writing a ton of music all the time and then he and I are working on vocals together as often as possible.